In politics and Ford Kenya party leader and Bungoma Senator Moses Otangula has hit back at the splinter faction within his party that had threatened to derail the party's plans to quit NASA and join the One Kenya Alliance. Otangula, who is facing rebellion within his own party, is now non-committal on when Ford Kenya will hold its National Executive Council meeting to endorse the walkout from NASA. NTV's senior political affairs reporter Kennedy Murethi has the details. When constituent parties of the One Kenya Alliance met last Tuesday and announced their planned registration of the coalition, some members of the constituent parties were not as enthusiastic. Ford Kenya! Simba, Simba, Simba! Some members of the Ford Kenya party, which has been rocked by internal wrangling, threatened to sabotage any such plans. Thank you very much. Thank you. But party leader Moses Wetangula laughed off their threats, insisting it is his place to make decisions on the party's behalf. You've been seeing you as truly here. Who fills candidates for Fort Kenya? Who speaks for Fort Kenya? Who is the leader of Fort Kenya, known, acknowledged, and, uh, and everybody, including yourself, you know? If I ask you a question, who is the leader of Fort Kenya? Will you think twice before you answer it? <laughs> the splinter faction led by Kandui MP Wafula Wamunyini and Tongaren MP Dr. Eseli Simiu accused Wetangula of speaking out of turn as he has no mandate to lead the party. You can see the former party leader of Fort Kenya moving about, purporting to represent Fort Kenya masquerading as the representative of Ford Kenya in coalition formations. We've had him talk to One Kenya Alliance. We've had him move around here. And the management meeting today resolved to ask him to desist from moving around, calling himself leader of Ford Kenya. You know, who speaks for Ford Kenya is the leader of Ford Kenya Party. And the leader of Ford Kenya Party is known. We don't have to, you know, we say uh, in the book of uh, Wallace Oinka, The Lion and the Jewel, that a tiger does not profess its tacritude, it bounces. Wetangula, who has gone back to the party's support base to sell his party's agenda and the idea of the new coalition, says he has enjoyed the support of the majority of the party's membership. The squabbles within Ford Kenya come even as the Amani National Congress officially passed a resolution to desert NASA and communicated the same to the registrar of political parties. The Waipa Democratic Movement is expected to do the same Monday when the National Executive Committee meets. Kennedy Moredi, NTV.